Hey YouTubers, I wanted to take a minute and do a quick review on these Alien Gear holsters. I've had them for a couple of days now and I'm going to send them back. I read a lot of good reviews on them. I can't give it a good review. Uh, when you do get your holster, they do come with some parts. Uh, you get the screwdriver, the little Allen wrench, I mean. Uh, you get some spacers, some bolts in there, some washers so you can replace these, I guess. Um, so you do get some, you do get that. It has a great warranty and it's, uh, they ask, they don't ask any questions. They call it the ironclad triple guarantee. It's a 30 day money back guarantee. Uh, you can swap your shells in, um, for new shells if you decide to carry a different, different gun. Uh, the clips, if you break a clip or anything on there, they'll replace that. Their warranty is fantastic and I'm going to use it. Uh, let me, let me start with, with this holster here. This here le is leather. So it's 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 a lot stiffer than the black holster over here. One of the big problems is every time I stick my revolver in here, it shaves off a new piece of leather. I mean, I clean this out, and when I stick my revolver in there, it comes right down another piece. So that that really sucks. That it's digging a hole in it in two days. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Some of the dings that have already there's a couple of dings in it already. They're starting to happen. There's no stitching around the outside of this leather, so there's nothing to, to keep it from fraying, to keep it from dinging up, to keep it looking nice. Um, this here shell, is just a, I think it's injection molded shell. It's a heavier plastic, so that makes your holster a little bit heavier. And I just, I have to say, I'm not happy with this because another reason is this here space in between the clips. When you try to stick this in your jeans, this here actually catches the inside of your pants when you're trying to put it on, and it's a real pain in the ass to put it on. Um, I made all the adjustments to this and I can't get this thing to fit comfortably, to ride comfortably in my pants. I just, I don't like it and that there is a huge reason why I don't like it. I don't think the quality's here. The price point of $30 is fantastic. If you can't afford anything nicer or don't have time to save up the money, this would get you by. But I'd still save up to buy a nicer holster. Now this one here I got for my Glock 26. Um, it's supposed to be one of their good ones, but like the same thing as before, it's not finished around the sides here. You can see it's it's kind of scratchy along here, and this riding, this piece riding on your skin is extremely uncomfortable. And uh, this mold here is the same way. It's a heavy plastic, so therefore it adds a little bit more weight. The uh, holster I'm used to using with my other firearm is a lot lighter than this, and it's a lot more durable. And again, here you have the uh, the clips are way up off of it. I just I don't like it. It's very uncomfortable. It's very flimsy. I don't like the way it rides. I don't like the finish. The only thing good about this is the price point and the warranty. Like I said, two days of wearing it, you can see where it's already dinging up along here. Um, I mean, it, it works, but it's not it's not comfortable for me. And then as wide as this thing is, if this when this sits across your back pocket, you almost can't get your wallet out. This piece comes up to almost your pocket. So if you're trying to get anything out of your pockets, or especially your back pocket, I was standing in line looking like a goof trying to pull my wallet out because my holster was sitting on it. So I have to give these a thumbs down. I did try this on. It's equally as uncomfortable and uh, and cheaply made. And I mean, I'm comparing this to an $80 holster here. This one, it's thinner, it's lighter, it's stronger. I've been wearing this for a year and a half and it's already it's it's more comfortable than this it rides better than this it's lighter uh, by I think two and a half ounces than this there's just there's no quality to the alien gear holsters if it's all you can afford then you know by all means have have a holster but I say save the money buy something a little bit better spend a little bit more money this here is just a flimsy and it's almost like like fake leather it's real flimsy I don't care for it at all. Um, these will be getting sent back this week. I've already placed an order with uh, with another holster maker, and uh, when that comes in, I'll show you what a nice holster looks like. So I'm excited to get that one. But as far as Alien Gear holsters go, I'm going to say no. I, I don't like it at all. I can't give it a good review. The only the only other thing that was good, other than the warranty, uh, it came in six days. I didn't have to wait two months like other people do. So. That's my thoughts on it, guys. Leave your comments below. Um, thanks for watching.